Hello everyone and welcome to your Chem 113 review on calculating mass of product in a chemical reaction. My name is Jason and I work for the ASU Tutoring Centers. So for this question we are trying to find um, how many grams of water are produced in the oxidation of one gram of glucose, C6H12O6. Uh, the chemical reaction for this process is given below. It looks very much like a combustion reaction uh, because you're, you're using oxygen and you're producing carbon dioxide and water, except there's no heat involved, so it's not necessarily a combustion reaction. We would just call it an oxidation reaction. Um, so the important part here is that the coefficients in front of each of the numbers, like there's a one here, tells you the ratio between each of them. So for every one mole of glucose reacts with six moles of O2 to produce six moles of CO2 and six moles of H2O. So you can think about it like, uh, like they're just literal ratios, like one mole of C6H12O6 in this reaction corresponds to six moles of O2. Or I could write six moles of CO2. Or I could write six moles of O2, uh, of H2O. So one mole per every, whichever one we're trying to work with here. So the important thing to note here is that these ratios are between moles. That's the big thing in chemistry. Whenever you do ratios, they tend to be between moles and not necessarily grams. So although we're given one gram of glucose, we actually have to convert that to moles of glucose first, and then we're allowed to start jumping around between um, glucose, we can jump over to oxygen if we want, or carbon dioxide, or water, or whatever we're particularly looking for. So, I'm just going to tell you the molar mass of glucose. We have done it before. Um, I should specify molar mass of c 6 12 6 is, um, where did I write down, 180.18 grams per mole. That is the molar mass of glucose. Okay. So using this, we're going to start with 1.00 grams of glucose and then doing a bunch of conversions end up with grams of water. So we have 1.00 grams of C6H12O6. Let's start the conversion process. So using the molar mass, I know that one mole of glucose corresponds to 180.18 grams of glucose. So you notice the grams of glucose cancel out. And now I'm in moles of glucose. And now I'm trying to get over to water world. I'm trying to get over to water. So what's the ratio between moles of glucose and moles of water? Well, that's what we were talking about at the beginning, right? For every one mole of glucose, we get six moles of water. So one mole of glucose corresponds to six moles of water. So one mole of glucose cancels, one mole of glucose cancels. So now we're in the world of, of the moles of, of water. And what are we trying to find? We're trying to find grams of water. So for that, I need the molar mass of water. Which again, I'll just tell you, it's going to be 18.02 grams per mole. Um, so that means that for every one mole of H2O, I have 18.02 grams of H2O. The moles cancel. And there you go. I'm left, my final units are grams of H2O, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So I multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, divide them out, and you end up getting 0 0.600 grams of water. So that's how you do it. It's just a, it's a long string of unit conversions. You have to convert from grams to moles. And once you do so, Big step here is you're able to convert between moles of different species in a chemical reaction. And we do, we do that using the, the coefficients. So this tells us the ratio between them all. Okay. All right, well, thank you for joining me. As I mentioned at the beginning, I work for the tutoring center at ASU. So if you want more information about the free tutoring services we offer on all four major ASU campuses and online, please check out tutoring.asu.edu slash content slash tutor dash search. Uh, by going here, you'll be able to find a tutor uh, on your campus or online that'll be able to help you with your specific course. Uh, thank you again for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.